जी सभी कुत्ता डिस्टिंग्यूस्ड पार्टिसिपेंट्स ऑफ दिस प्रोग्राम आई कंसीडर इट एस ए एन ऑनर एंड ए प्रिविलेज टू बी विथ यू ऑल दिस इवनिंग आई सी मेनी ऑफ माय फ्रेंड्स हैव सर्व दिस कंट्री कंट्रीब्यूटेड इमेंसली for the growth and development of this great country after 66 67 years we can happily sit here with some confidence and seeing the elections going on in other ways when we compare with other countries we are so happy and we are very proud from kerala I came to Delhi in 1974. And when I told some friends in Kerala that I am going to Delhi, they said, "Why you are going to Delhi? It's very difficult." <laughs> <laughs> But the way this country has grown, from people from all. over weaving together when i i came to join jawaharlal nehru university to do my phd and studies but the campus it was it created a entirely different uh, understanding of this country the people and its ideas <coughs> so i feel whenever i meet uh, friends like you all who are committed to the people of this country it's a, a remarkable experience and that is the hope for the future friends after the brilliant uh, presentation by mr <coughs> prabhat kumar in which he has posed all the important issues i must say i have uh, very little to contribute in the sense that uh, what is happening as far as the local government system in this country is happening is really underlying <coughs> those issues um 1970s was a very difficult period in our history you know that and that's why prakash karat and all our friends who were on the campus of jnu and we were all thinking what is going to happen to this country in 77 when uh, west bengal got a new government and the first thing in the west bengal did was to introduce a new generation of panchayat and the person behind that was uh chief minister of course but nambudiri pal thank you and i still remember in the ashok mehta committee report nambudiri pal mentioning that we have democracy at the center and the state union and the state bureaucracy at district block and village that is the famous quotation of uh, uh, nambudiri pal and the wonderful experiment which uh, west bengal launched at that time uh, under the leadership of jyoti babu it was a great inspiration for seven jandar mandar here where i used to go on a motorcycle and sit there and all that and in 1982 83 ramakrishna hegde and abdul nasim saab they said after when they came to power they introduced another generation of panchayats and for that they sent Uh, the legislators to study how the panchayats are working in west bengal and they came back and introduced 
पंचायत सिस्टम देन राजीव गांधी के डिपार्ट बाय द वे व्हेन हेगडे जी वाज डूइंग ऑल दिस एंड नसीर साहब वाज डूइंग दे हैड अ नेबर हु वाज दैट एंटी राम राव एंड ही सेड ओ व्हाट दे आर डूइंग इन कर्नाटक आई मस्ट आल्सो इमुलेट एंड ही आल्सो टुक दिस इश्यूज एंड then rajiv ji came to power and he looked at the whole situation and he was not a politician as all of us know and he asked his advisers why bengal is very popular karnataka is very popular rantra people are talking about what is happening and they said this is because they are uh, giving power to the people you know that was the concept that is people are where people are in the villages not in hyderabad in bangalore in uh, kolkata or delhi they are in the villages oh i see, I see. okay then you know all of you know then what has happened he uh, rajiv ji did a number of meetings consultations and then he said why the district administration is not responsive to the needs of the people and calling <coughs> that was rajiv ji's uh, statement the district administration is not responsive to the needs of the people and for that we need democracy at the local level and you know on uh, 15th uh, may 1984 Uh, sorry 1989 he introduced the 64th constitution and it was defeated ha comes <coughs> and uh, a very happy sadhas <laughs> and it was defeated uh, in the rajya sabha and what to do of course there were problems <coughs> at that time i had the great privilege of working with the three people three great men of india <laughs> one was sk de He was staying in, in uh, Lakshmanar, I think, at that time. I used to go and meet him, and discuss with him. The other was uh, Nirmal Mukherjee, and uh, then uh, L. C. Jain. And these three people said, "India's future is only local governance, <coughs> panchayati raj, giving power." and then all of us know the how the 73rd and 74th constitution amendment came and then it was passed on 22nd and 23rd december 1992 but to, for that to become part of the constitution part 9 uh, uh, 9 and 9a it took several months 24th april the 73rd amendment and 1st june 74th amendment oh. as it was uh, mentioned by prabhat kumar ji 21 years of past after it became part of the indian constitution as institution of self government not administration or waiting for somebody as institution of self government and after 21 years where are we tomorrow a yemeni delegation is coming <clears throat> and our institute is hosting that governor mayor of sana uh, eden all people are about seven eight people are coming and their main concern is they are writing a constitution now their concern is 
how is india democracy working federalism working local government working so i invited a kc shivarama krishnan because he is a specialist on urban issues and i said i call him shivaji shivaji please come you must meet them and all you know what he said george after 21 years we must write r i p for 74th amendment i don't know about your 73rd amendment but I, as far as 74th amendment is concerned said so what are you saying what you and i know i am saying in other words what the prabhat kumar also said there is a lot of disappointment frustration regarding the real implementation of the 74th amendment specially and also 73rd and so many factors are there not just one fact in a country like this uh, i mean <laughs> i don't know to go into the details of that and uh, if that is the situation how can we go forward and you have given or uh, narrowed down one factor for today's discussion that is uh, uh, civil services bureaucracy administration official what are now this an issue i am not in administration i was i am only observing how things are happening i am only looking at this sometimes i am subjective but uh, as much as possible i try to be objective and one of my most in, uh, interesting Uh, activities is uh, being a sociology student i go and uh, stay in the villages and ethnographic study and see how things are i'll tell you that within a minute but before that uh, it was mentioned about the film i produced <coughs> the film was swaraj the little republic when uh, the 73rd uh, amendment the uh, state assembly uh, has, they, within one year they had to have a, <coughs> their own uh, uh, legislations and tamil nadu things were going very slow and even after that the elections were not getting going in 1996 7 after the other political party i am not mentioning the parties party came to power there was the election and one lady in a vivas colony in madurai contested the municipal elections and she said in this vivas colony in this madurai area we have no water pipeline was laid but no water how do we walk get water tanker comes and we have to pay 2 rupees per bucket of water and she said if you vote for me through this democratic process and elect me as the councillor of madurai i will i will see with my powers how water can be brought through this already laid water pipe people's life what is uh, water is life and they voted for her she won the elections it took about 6 months for her in the meetings with the fighting struggle all that thing and finally water came through that pipeline and in the evening when the water came oh that will that is It's not a slum, but the Vivas colony is so on it. <coughs> They were all dancing and bringing. It was a wonderful evening. Next day morning, 
this lady went to a provision store to buy bread and some things. She had two daughters. They were going to school. And she was standing in front of the counter to buy this in the morning. Two people came with a sickle and uh, hit her on her neck and killed her and on the spot. What is your democracy? You woman, what the hell you are doing? And from tomorrow where is our income for the tank? She was killed on the spot. I read the, this news, the single column, you know this kind of news uh, will have very little space, it's, it will not come in, a, in the Hindu newspaper which came here, I, I read it in a, in a column, one column. I somehow managed to reach this place within two days. Friends, you won't believe the sorrow, the agony, the <coughs> The, the, the tears, the, the people who were in the old hole. And uh, what a life. Democracy, women's participation, 33%, everything wonderful. We are telling it to the whole world we are like this. And what is the ground reality? It was uh, one of the painful days or moments in my life. I thought, okay, I can write an article in the newspaper and they will publish it certainly in Hindu or in the paper. I thought that this message must go all over the world. Then I came back here and uh, wrote a story and the first uh, we thought this can be shot in uh, Madhya Pradesh. I approached uh, Digil Singhji and he was very happy. But our uh, directors and uh, experts said it must be in Rajasthan. So it was shot in Rajasthan. Pani! Pani! That, is the, that was the whole slogan. And that film, uh, all over the world it was shown. And uh, then I received the gold medal from the President of India uh, in 2003 in Vidyanbhav. I was so happy because that was a very proud moment in my life that this but the point I am making is that message through that film even today reaching the people and then the question here is one very important thing for the point of our discussion are those people who were instrumental for this tragedy are they arrested or are they punished? Even today I am chasing, no. This is the situation. And who is responsible for this? <coughs> One is, we can say, politicians. Then, what about the other? And this nexus is the biggest problem we are facing in this country. So that's why a question we have to really interrogate, reflect, is that is it today we having Panchayati Raj or a Collector Raj? Are we having a Panchayat at the block level or a BDO Raj? At the village level, a Panchayati Raj or Gram Sevak Raj? And you go to villages even today, in, uh, I was on several committees in Bihar and other places. I say, uh, where is your uh, Gram Sabha document, uh, can you give me? Oh, Mr. Matthew, that is with our Gram Sevak, uh, I mean secretary. And when I ask for the secretary, secretary is walking around and he has a, he has a, what is it? Jula. Jula. Ah, uh, <laughs> bag. Jula. This is in the Jula. Uh, <laughs> Jula. 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 Jula.
Is it Kenya? No, no, no. No record. Let me ask a question to all our senior friends here. How many Panchayat Bhavans? I mean, Panchayats of Panchayat Bhavans. And we are saying this is the third tier of government. This is institution of self-government. <laughs> uh, so that he knows uh, she was in Kerala. Every panchayat has a panchayat bhavan with uh, five rooms, ten rooms for every elected member, a very decent place. And you have counter to pay money, receive and all these things. When I go to Bihar and Jharkhand and other places, this bag on the shoulder. <laughs> this is I mean, this is a reality on the ground. So, what I would like to say is that how this local government system is functioning, how it is not functioning. I went to Maharashtra. <coughs> Maharashtra is uh, one was one of the state before the 73rd amendment which was in the forefront and uh, I went uh, to several villages and I wrote an article it says Mahara Maharashtra's Gram Sevak Raj and I went and met a lady serpent her name is Mangal Swami and she was also uh, she is also a SC studied up to seventh class. She confesses that in the first three and a half years of her five year tenure, she uh, had uh, no power and the village development <coughs> officer or Gram Sevak was controlling everything. Now we can say that uh, elected member is the chief minister of state. A chief minister of a block, chief minister of a district. If that is the concept, and that, why not we really after 21 years is not happening? And uh, two, three days I stayed in that village, this article, everywhere they are saying elected members are just for namesake, they were saying Namke Vasta, just names again. And all these things are done by these officials from lower level to the higher level. And if that is so, how can we go forward? Another problem. Note that we don't have human resources. So that was secretary of several uh, years. How many training centers we have, SIRD, you know, State Institute of Rural, Institute of Rural Development, well equipped, sorry, well equipped, every state has SIRDs, but I am sorry to say, <laughs> in a group like this I can say, I said, who is the director of this SIRD, it uh, was uh, so and so, and what is this experience? Sir, this is a punishment transfer, sir. <laughs> no, I, I, you can attack me, you can say I am wrong, but this is what when I go and talk to some of these people, they are saying. Where is our brilliance? Where is our resource uh, uh, for training them and equipping them for uh, uh, becoming the best people? And this is not happening. So, therefore, my dear friends, we are in a very difficult situation and uh, we have to think and uh, plan something for the future and our younger generation is looking at us and saying what is going to happen and finally my point is that we today do not have a decentralized governance culture our culture of governance administration is very different. I don't want to say that, which uh, Prabhat Kumar has already said it. We need a culture of local government. We need a culture of Panchayati Raj, where people respect and from below, from 
the bottom, it comes up, up, up. The edifice of democracy must be with a strong foundation. And that foundation is the elected member and the bureaucracy at the lower level. We have to struggle for that and create a culture. Thank you very much.